Hi, I'm Mr. Wiseman. Hi, I'm Ms. Johnson. And we're going to continue with our math frogs today. Yesterday we talked about adding with our math frogs. Today we're going to talk about subtracting. And I have something very sad to share with you. What do you think it is? He is now single. Yes, he is now single. He has been dumped by his girlfriend. So now our poor math frog, and I've named my math frog Pierre, by the way. Our math frog Pierre now listens to sad songs on the radio constantly, always drawing little sad pictures. So he's very sad. Now we're going to show how to take that sadness and do math with it. So let's get started. First number is still going to tell us where to start. So we're at five. Now yesterday, our math frog was happy, but now he's sad. So he's going to face towards the negative. Everything is dark clouds for him. But our second number still tells us how many jumps he's going to take. Hmm. How many? He's going to take three. And I'm wondering, should I use the yellow side of the counters or the red side of the counters? Or does it matter? I think it depends on its mood. <laughs> Probably. I honestly don't know. But let's go with the yellow's green. Yeah, let's go with the yellow. It gets us there. So, <laughs> one, two, three. So, five minus three is two. So, our math frog knows a little bit more math. Let's go ahead and go with a Whoops. equation or an expression that has a positive subtract, subtracting a negative. All right, so we have 4 minus negative 2. Now, again, first number tells us where the math frog starts. Second number says it's still depressed. Um, I'm sorry, the function says it's still depressed. Second number tells us which direction it's jumping. And this time it's jumping backward. So it's going to move 1, 2 spaces backward, which it gives us? 6. 6, very good. Now, we could rewrite this problem so it is represented as just addition. Mm -hmm. And that would be, what do you think? Well, 4 plus 2 gives you 6. Yes, 4 plus 2. And some of your teachers last year may have um, told you if you take the two negative sides and make it like this, it looks like a plus sign. That's a really good trick. I would suggest using that trick. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you can ask either myself if you have me or Mrs. Johnson if you have her as a teacher. Yes. So let's go ahead and do a negative minus a positive. Negative minus a positive. So the first number, negative 5, is telling us where our frog is. It's a sad frog, but it's jumping 2. So, so it's going to jump this way to negative 7. Remember? Okay, so we're starting out with negative 6. It's still a sad frog, but now it's jumping backwards three. So we're going to move it one, two, three. Now I haven't been very consistent with the counters here. Should they be red? Red. Yes. We'll go with red. So it's going to jump back three. One, two, three. Negative three. And negative six minus negative three is three, which is the same thing as... Neg um, negative 6 plus 3, and that's how you subtract with our math frog. Thanks, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Watson. <laughs> okay.